In the ongoing debate over how soon educators should return to in-person work, some Los Angeles Unified parents are fuming over the revelation that certain employees who work with special education students have been eligible for COVID-19 vaccinations since January but have yet to provide in-person services to some of the district's most vulnerable students. Generally speaking, those who work in schools won't have access to the vaccines until next week under LA County's priority system, but some, such as speech and language, physical and occupational therapists, were placed in an earlier priority group along with other health workers. That prioritization, confirmed by an LAUSD administrator this week, have parents asking why educators who have had access to the vaccines aren't back on campus yet, and one school board member said he wants the district to negotiate a return to campus for these special education service providers. Those who have been vaccinated, they need to report back to work. They're essential workers, and they provide a critical, essential task to the community," said parent Renee Bailey, whose 14-year-old son is in special education. Those who have been offered to be vaccinated, whether they took the offer or not, they should be back as well," she added. Bailey said she was livid when she found out that certain educators have been prioritized for vaccines since last month, and said the district should have been more transparent with the public. It's never been announced that those special education service providers have been eligible for vaccinations since January, she said. It builds mistrust toward the school district themselves because they never even said anything. Anthony Aguilar, chief of special education, equity, and access for LAUSD, confirmed that certain employees who provide special education services are already eligible for the vaccine after school board member Nick Melvoin inquired about it during a board meeting on Tuesday, February 23. Speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, physical therapists have been eligible through the county to be vaccinated, Aguilar told the board, adding that the district has not tracked who's been vaccinated through non eligible LAUSD vaccination sites. It's unknown how many of these LAUSD instructors have been vaccinated. A spokeswoman for the district said LAUSD is in the process of surveying employees. The district opened its first COVID-19 vaccination center last week, but for now, is only administering shots to LAUSD employees ages 65 and older and those who work at its coronavirus testing or vaccination sites. District officials hope to open more sites, including a massive site planned at the Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, to vaccinate school employees.